Hello everybody, welcome and thank you for your interest in our CDEM steering and suspension products. My name is Harold, I have more than 15 years of experience as a mechanic. Today I will show you how to detect wear on steering and suspension parts in a timely fashion and how to replace those worn parts. This avoids the car being rejected at the car inspection and the accompanying customer dissatisfaction. A car's steering and suspension parts should be checked at least once a year. How do you know if the tie rod ends or axle joints need to be replaced? While driving, you will notice the car deviating from a straight line or that there are vibrations on the steering wheel. At the start of the check, lift the car until the wheels come fully off the ground. Grasp the wheel on the right and left side while executing a tilting movement. This movement is to check whether or not there is play on the tie rod ends. In case of play, the suspension parts and steering of the car do not react accurately while driving, which can be risky if bumps or potholes are to be found on the road surface because it reduces the control over the car. If you feel little resistance from the steering box when performing the tilting movement, this indicates play. Next, proceed with the visual check and lift the car higher. First, check the condition of the dust cover of the tie rod ends. If the rubber material of the dust cover shows wear or cracks, the part needs to be replaced. You can grasp the part and try to move it up and down. If the housing moves up while there is no movement in the pin stuck in the wheel bearing housing, this indicates play. If there is no play on the tie rod end, you should check whether this is also the case for the axial joint. To do this, move the tie rod end the same way you did before. If there is no play on the tie rod end, there will be play on the axial joint. Finally, you can also check the steering rack gator, check its condition and check if there are any cracks or grease loss. The steering rack gator must be in good condition to protect the axial joint. Here you can see some additional examples of parts that need to be replaced. In the event of such findings, remember to replace the parts on time and on both sides of the car. This way you avoid the car becoming unsafe and not passing a car inspection. For more information, please visit the CDEM website www.cdem.eu. Thank you for watching and see you next time.